What is up, everyone? This is Piotr, and today we have another disaster save to sort out. Although, yeah, it doesn't really look like too much of a disaster, more of just the offense is stalled. And this one, uh, yeah, this one I found on Reddit, but if any of you, any of the viewers want me to check out your disaster saves, um, yeah, if you go to the About section of the channel, there should be an email there somewhere. It's piotrplays123 at gmail.com. And if you know how to get a save file, just send that to me, and I can take a look and see what can be done. Like in this case, which, uh, looks like your offense is stalled here, so I don't even know what's going on. You've got historical on. Um, Napoleon is back in France, so that's cool. Like, I assume you're probably, like, I wouldn't, you're, if you consider yourself a new player, you're probably pretty good at the game, because, like, it would take some skill to get to this level. However, yeah, you're just kind of stuck, and I, things aren't going to be fun if you just keep this up, so we'll try to help you out. And, yeah, well, let's just start, um, there's a ton we can do here. I'm just going to start with the, uh, alerts. So it says, yeah, first thing, we have free dockyards. You only have one dockyard assigned, so we're going to want to use those. So basically, we're not, like, they didn't, they had no use. You just, they existed, but they didn't, they're just kind of sitting around not doing anything. So we're at war. We need to find jobs for everyone. So getting these docks, building things is a good, uh, good idea. So I'm going to finish. We have that heavy ship there. I put a couple more on convoys. Um, I'm not really sure, like, I see, okay, this has anti- I know Germany's going to have a lot of submarines, so I'm just going to build a few of these um, destroyers here, and that should be good enough. And yeah, that's fine for now. And modify government. Yeah, I picked nothing here, so let's... The first thing... Okay, so we can't... Going to war economy would be really good. We're going to need more war support, so that'll be something to think of. Um, in the meantime, yeah, I'll get the silent workhorse, more political power gain, so that'll... Um, even if we have some to work with now, we're going to be needing a lot more. And I'll also do, I can see we're almost out of manpower here, so I'll go up to extensive conscription. And it'll take a bit longer to train our people, but we're really going to need that. And might as well do, uh, looking for, I don't see an infantry person. I'll do logistics, yeah, that's a good idea. And then, um, what else here? We got 400, so I think, yeah, doing something about the war support and the stability would be nice. Let's see, this just increases our war support by a bit every week. And then press censorship. So I think, yeah, you have Napoleon here. He's um, non-aligned. Yeah, yeah, so this is, um, we're going to want the non-aligned to be really popular. So right now we have too many democracy and communist people, so we're going to want to convert them all to being non-aligned and love Napoleon as they should. So we'll spend 150 on that. And that's really, that's kind of eating into all of our stuff here. So what else can I do? I could do, yeah, improved worker conditions. That'll, uh... It'll lead into our economy a bit, but honestly, I really want to help the stability, so I'm just going to do that, and it sucks, but it will. And air rings with no mission assigned. See, it looks like we're... This doesn't look good here, so it looks like your whole air force has been shot down. I'll take a look at the production, but let's just... We'll send them all back to Paris for, like, an air show, and then that'll... We'll think of something to do there. Anyhow, speaking of production... Okay, so we have a ton on... Let's take a look here. So it looks like we're short guns. With all this, you have a... You really like your trucks. I don't know why you have... You've got, like, 15 factories on trucks, but we have, like, thousands in stockpiles. So we just... We don't need that. We can just take them all off. Uh, I know we're going to want a lot of guns. Let's put some more on that. Um, support equipment looks like we're out of that. I know having a ton of that is a good idea. Um, and, yeah, these divisions. I see this here. Yeah, so you... I assume, like, you would have added these two artillery in. That's not a bad idea for attack divisions. Like, I'll change this to a skull so we know it's, like an attack-oriented one, but it's kind of, this would eat a ton of equipment, and it's not really, like, attacking, France isn't really in a position to attack everywhere constantly, so it's not really a great idea, but, but it's still okay, that's, it's not, it's not terrible, like, it's just basically, the problem was that they had too good equipment for what they needed, but, I mean, we'll see, and Soviet wants a non-aggression pact, yeah, that's true, the Philippines non-aggression pact, so this is all fine for now, um, Doctrine's available. Like, you have 500 air XP, so I'm just gonna... Let's just start buying random things here until we get to, like... Yeah, we'll keep 200. Maybe we can design some more planes. Um, with army XP. Yeah, I'll go down... The, getting, um... Like, I'm not a fan of grand battle plan. However, it helps us with defense, and we've already... We're starting down it, so let's just continue. Yeah, we'll get a few more. And yeah, yeah, we'll still have 200 to work with, so that's good. And all of this here. So I see, um... I think I'm, we're not in a position, like, we just can't, launching a big attack isn't really, it's going to be pretty tough, just the way things are now. So I think we're going to need to kind of focus on the defense a bit. Uh, with Italy here, yeah, and kind of sorting out our own people. So who's this guy? Alphonse Jouin. Let's, um, we're going to set a new theater up here, so I'll call this one Italy. Yeah. And we'll give him a field marshal, because they all should have field marshals. Who I pick doesn't really matter. Let's pick... 
this guy, sure. And I see these are all, um, like, I don't want to be doing attacks here, so I think I'm going to make a new division. Let's see here. We have this. Okay, that's decent. And we have this. So I think, yeah, the colonial... So what's, what's in your attack division here? You just have artillery, and so these have a lot of artillery, so these, they're okay, but I don't know, we could do better. Do we have anti-air? We have 2,000 anti-air. Yeah, so let's do that, because, um, okay, so let's see here. I'm going to make, like, a general defense kind of division, because I think that would be a lot better for what you want to do here. So we'll call these guys, uh, I always call them line holders, I don't know, because that's what they do, they hold lines. So we'll call them line holders, we'll give them the NATO crossed rifle here, and we'll keep support artillery's good, engineer company, I'll throw in some support anti-air, and that should be okay. And I'm going to change, instead of having a bunch of artillery, they're just going to have regular infantry. So this will be, they'll be able to hold their own lines better, and that's, I think this will be a lot better for just what we want to do. And to start, um, like here we don't need to be attacking, so I'm going to change all of these into the line holder division, and it says we're going to need... 45, we're going to need a bunch of people, we're going to need a bunch of infantry equipment and stuff that we don't have. However, we are, um, we're mobilizing, so that's okay, we'll get some more. And we're going to gain a bunch of artillery, so that's nice. And if we're doing this a bunch of times, I th we're going to get a bunch of extra artillery, so I'm going to take some off artillery, and I'll add that all to the guns there. And let's put that on 10, yeah, sure. And we have a ton on, um, I can see we're short. Yeah, what are we doing here for, um, so we're trading... Looks like we're full of fuel. We don't need to trade any here. And also I noticed, um, yeah, you got the French East Indies. So if you were trading fuel, you should trade with, um, like, these people have a ton of fuel and they're your puppet. So you could trade, like, a lot more for them. So we don't need any now, but we'll keep that in mind for the future. And also, yeah, the, um, what do we have here? Trading rubber. Yeah, that's neat. Tungsten. Um, yeah, about that. So we'll see. These medium tanks. I saw, where were they? Um, these people, yeah, okay, so we have two medium tank divisions. I took a look at these. These are way too, like, the template. These, this is insane. Like, you have, this is way too many tanks. Like, this is, every one of these divisions is, like, an entire, like, army for other countries. So it's, like, this is, they're good at killing a lot of things, but they would take, like, they take heavy losses. It's just, like, a lot of, it's too much stuff. So I need to, we need to reorganize this. We can make it a lot better. And speaking of reorganizing, let's, um, I'm going to delete all this. We can think of, like, better... Better ways to sort this out, because it's it's okay, but it's not ideal. Because I think everyone is just kind of, yeah, it's like everyone is just spread out all the way across the country, and this isn't really we can do better. But sorting out these pockets is uh, that's one thing. So maybe we can do that first. But uh, in the meantime, let's, yeah. So I'm just gonna create kind of general areas of defense, and this is not so. This we have 46 in one army, but this we're gonna change things. It's not gonna, it'll be different. So I'll set this guy up here, although that's kind of, yeah. And, like, I don't even know what this is, so we're just going to reassign a bunch of people, and now this De Gaulle has 41 divisions, and, like, that's kind of crazy, but whatever. We'll set him up here, and then we'll have, like, a southern front, but this won't be, like, we're going to do some rearranging. So now this guy is 13. And yeah, this is fine for now, sure. And it looks like, okay, so I'm going to rearrange... This is not, um, yeah. Let's change this here. So we're going to want to make things, like, kind of, um, like, sort of easier to defend for us. Because I don't think we're going to need to plan, um, kind of do some reorganizing before we go back on the attack. But once we do, we'll be in a better spot. And I'll set this up here. That's fine for now. So now this is sort of, like, easier to manage. And then, um, the Gaul is too many people, so we'll just start, uh... Like, where is he? Is two here. This guy's 24. So basically... Okay, that's not bad. So we'll try to make this even. Now 25, 25. So... What's this here? Oh, I think I know exactly why. Wait, what did I just do? Okay, those were, like, colonial people. So what is this? These are... Yeah, whatever. Let's keep them. So where are those two tanks? Yeah. So the two tanks are... In... Once we unassign these, then everyone should be good. Then we can give one to De Gaulle here, and now everyone has 24, so that's great. Wait a minute. Yeah, just one. Okay, so now every all these folks have 24, so that's all good. Also, see, I'll just press play now and see what happens, and we'll let this um, organize itself. Also, yeah, with the, um, the Navy, they're on strike force, which... Also, we have... I see you put this one... 
this guy has all your entire navy, like a hundred subs, a hundred. He has like everything all in one single fleet. So like, I've only like I only have twenty five hundred hours in the game. I don't understand navy yet, but I do understand this button, which says distribute your ships into balanced task force. So we're just gonna press that. We're just gonna say like, you're the navy man. You can figure it out. So now he had, now he has ten fleets. Now that's a lot better. And we're gonna put him on convoy raiding. I think that's gonna be a lot better for what we want to do here. And we're gonna raid, get him to raid all these convoys here. And I see, yeah, for some reason Germany has Gibraltar. I don't know what's going on there. So we're gonna want to sink. We're gonna want to control these seas. And that'll be decent for now. And also we want to destroy these pockets. So I like, yeah, I like what you had going on there. So it's not all bad news. And yeah, as we're like, we're sorting out our own lines, but I do see like the people back here, we'll just send them in on like pocket reduction duty. And I might, uh, we might move these folks back here. So who is this up here? Okay. So yeah, this is what we're going to do. I don't like, like it's neat how you had a little breakthrough going here. However, we're kind of, we need to consolidate our own line. So I think I'm going to pull back. Uh, past this river is probably a good idea. Yeah, and we'll discard this river here. So this will pull this is yeah So we're giving up. It's like okay Germany. You can have the side of the river back, but we need to kind of do some defense. So we'll get that done And in the meantime, this is all good. So we'll get yeah three divisions here 30,000 down. It's we're gonna have a long ways to go but also um, Trying to attack attract the Germans into attacking us. That's also a good idea. So and what do we do here? Okay, so I didn't even pay attention to this, but yeah, that's not bad. So it looks like he was on, um, we're pulling out of Genova here, and I think that's on it, that's, I was going to do that anyway. Like, we're not really, we can't be encircling, destroying many people yet. We have our own business to sort out first. And now, like, yeah, we're short 9,000 guns because we changed, and we're, we might even be short more in a bit, just because we changed all these people to uh, a different division. Worker, uh, okay, well, that's, that's too bad. So what is this? Oh, because we extended the draft. Oh, okay. Well, that's too bad. All right. Well, yeah. Well, uh, that'll be sorted out. So yeah, what is this? Worker shortage. So this, yeah, this will really hurt us a lot. However, we can, um, I think there's some political stuff we can do to get rid of that. We could have also avoided, um, like we could have just not uh, recruited more people, but uh, we're really in a bad spot here. So we're going to need to fix that. And although, yeah, with the worker shortage, that'll, uh, like, that'll also reduce the people that we can recruit. However, it's, um, like, we're playing a long-term game. We're going to need to get rid of all that. And speaking of, you know, let's see here. So I want, uh, I want all this to be filled. Oh, yeah, I'll take some off the medium tanks. Yeah, we had, um, we were bringing those back. That's fine. So sure, I'll keep two on, whatever. And I wanted one on, um... Okay, these are getting filled. Let's keep... We have these little planes. Yeah, I wanted to take a look at the planes you were making. So this is... Yeah, this is not great. So these are kind of... Yeah, they're expensive to make. So I think we can do a lot better here. We're going to make a new variant with our 200 air XP. So this we're just going to call uh, Interceptor. And first, yeah, instead of having two engines for this, for like fighters, I just, we just need one engine. Like we just want something that cheap that we can control the skies with. So hold on. And also I'll pick another, yeah, this thing, sure. Uh, and we'll give it some fighter weapons. I'll give it to, like machine guns are fine. Like it's, it's going to be cheap. Just, and what did you give it here? You gave it fuel tanks and drop tanks. I'll take out the extra fuel tanks. That'll make it cheaper. And also I think it should be decent for range. So this is, this is a lot cheaper to build. Let's just do that. And we'll replace all this with the Interceptor, and that's cool. And we have 5,000. Yeah, I was trying to get some on trucks here, but we have, like, we have all these trucks in reserve, so we're good. And if we're attacking and failing, we'll just not do that. That's fine. And who's going here? We don't need you there. So, yeah, we retreated back to the side of the bridge, and that is, or the side of the river, and that's all good. Or is it? So it looks like, yeah, they're trying to take this tile here in 16 hours, so they might be able to do that. However, yeah, whatever. Or actually, no, because that'll, uh, okay, so we kind of need to get there, yeah. Unless we can get a victory here really quick, so that's too bad, but whatever. 
However, even if they connect their lines, they're still, um... So yeah, that's too bad. Looks like they can, um, get back there. We'll see. That's fine. So we'll still get a victory here. And can we even go here? Maybe. We'll see. Oh? Oh, kind of. Okay, well, whatever. Yeah, this is fine. And what do I see here? So I think, like, yeah, they were able to reconnect this pocket. However, we still would have... Yeah, we still got 20,000 of them, so, yeah, whatever. And we got another... Yeah, we saw, like, um, they just got a division destroyed there, so this is nice for us. And this is a lot more uh, comfortable to defend. And who's this? So we got 24 divisions. We kind of sorted out that issue there, so we are good. And if I see... I'm going to start pulling off random... Um, or actually, I'm just going to delete these, and this will give us, what? This will give us 1,000 infantry equipment, which is good, because we're short. Yeah, now we're only short 6,000, which is still a lot, but uh, we can do stuff about that. And also, I'm going to call um, Britain into the war, yeah. So let's see, they only they only have 400,000, but honestly, it's not. Uh, that's fine. Let's just call them into the war, sure. And we can see now, okay, so yeah, we're sinking. This is, this is great. So this is convoys being sank everywhere. Very, very nice. So we hope these are troop ships. But even if not, even if it's just resources, that is still good for us. Yeah, they're losing a ton of convoys. This is really going to help our war effort. So we're putting that French Navy to use. And you can see I'm not attacking anywhere now. Like, I kind of gave up. Um, what is this? Okay, so Italy is giving up here for some reason. Let's see if we can just walk right in. So I wasn't, I was not going to attack in Italy, but it seems, I don't know here. They've given up. And what else? So I have... Oh, yeah, all these fighters here. Let's see with our interceptor. We are making... Okay, so that's going to get better. Not amazing, but we'll improve. Let's, uh... Yeah, merge all these, sure. And what are we doing for... Okay, so we're reorganizing the Dutch. Yeah, whatever. So what is this? Britain wants to give us rifles? Yeah, that's amazing. And look at all this. We are sinking so many here. So that's like Romanian. I think they'd be... Maybe they're trading for oil and stuff. This is phenomenal. Like, what? what is this? Yeah, just convoys everywhere. Beautiful. So yeah, we'll just we'll keep sinking all these convoys and hope for the best. In the meantime, yeah, we'll try to take more of like... I don't really... I don't know what I want to do with Italy. I just know they're going to be weak. These are... They brought up like camel divisions. So I don't even... These are like 3,000 camels. Like, what are you... What are you, That's so Italy. So maybe we could take Italy out of the war quicker, but we'll see. And if we do, we don't even need these... Like, all these... These are all my attack divisions, but we don't even, like, need them, so... Very beautiful. And we're not losing any of our own ships. Even if we do, at this point, we could lose, like... We could lose, like, 50 ships, and it would still be worth it, all these convoys we've sank, so. Well, wonderful. And we have ops. Yeah, I'm not attacking yet. I'm waiting until, um... Okay, so now we're only short 4,000 guns, so that's amazing. Let's see, we're making 700 a week, which is not... That's not great. But if you look at this, this is going to keep improving. And I did a few things, like, um... Our production lowered because I gave the workers, like, free sun, free... I made casual Fridays to improve the national spirit and stuff, so that's, um... It'll get better. But basically, I can't, like, we're not in a position to do any big attacks. It's more just, like, hang out and consolidate, prepare for the next offense. And look at this. We're sinking their whole, like, they're, we're gaining control of all this. So, like, I think Britain, yeah, they would have had a bit here. I don't know. And this is now French Empire, so, like, my allies are just doing all the work. I don't even... They don't even need my help. And they have random... What is this? like random heavy tanks so that's neat that's cool and yeah they're gonna be if they oh my goodness yeah look at all this like they're losing the amount of stuff their whole navy is being sank basically this is phenomenal phenomenal yeah so this is we could just wait we could just sit back and do absolutely nothing like they're losing like hundreds of convoys because they had no i guess yeah until 1941 they the french forgot to like have their navy to raid convoys so the Axis were lulled into this, like, false sense of security, but, yeah. And what do I see here? So I don't know how those camels are going to work. Did we take a supply hub? Yes, we did. That is really good. So, yeah, of all the things to take, this is the best one here. So, maybe I might, um... 
we might just be in a position to uh, like take Italy out of the war, but we'll see. And if I did that, like then it wouldn't really have. I should have. I'll change these back to the other division. And also, uh, six day battle. Hold on a minute. I can bring all my, uh, you know, like my entire air force down here to help out because Italy would be the weaker one to take out. But also, yeah, we'll see. And having these, um, it would be, make more sense to get these, like, everyone trained here, but we'll see. And anytime Germany wants to attack us, that is phenomenal. Gonna waste all the guns they want here. And what do I see here? Yeah, my tanks I'm gonna bring back. We'll think of some other, uh, another division type for them. And this is a Romanian Alpine division. That is, they're trying to reinforce it, but we're gonna say nope. So the Romanian Alpine Division, yeah, this is not uh, commanded by, like, Italian colonial generals. That's really neat. And, oh my goodness, so yeah, they'd be sending all the... And, oh, looks like we have a... We lost two submarines. We lost some convoys. I don't even care. Like, this is crazy. Look at all... And, yeah, they're trying to reinforce up here, too. And China wants us to join their faction. I don't think that's not going to happen. So we can actually... Yeah, let's slow it down here a bit. Let's see exactly what's going on. Uh, lost ships. So, we've sank in the current month. Last month. Wow, we sank. Look at all those convoys, yeah. Last month, we sank 450 ships, which we know they're all convoys. That's insane. Wow. What about over here? Yeah, no Oh, what is going on here? Nothing? Okay. Wow. That is, yeah, that's crazy. Current month. So, it's been eight days. They've lost 117 convoys. That should be reflected in their, um... Like these numbers here, so what, we've inflicted a bit under 600,000 casualties? Yeah, that's going to add up. Um, where's Italy here? French Empire, 600,000 casualties. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of those are from the convoys here. Like, if they're moving troops around, they're all in the bottom of the ocean now, so that's great. And that's like, they presumably, yeah, they're trying to reinforce these people here, so our, like, half-strength allies can just take care of them. That's amazing. And what's this? Moving on up. And, yeah, it looks like we can just move right in there. Getting, how long do we have here? One day? Yeah, that'd be neat. And we're just going to hang tight up here in Germany until our, these situations get sorted out. So now, yeah, we're only short 800 guns, short under 200 support equipment. So that's phenomenal. We're doing great. And these, yeah, I'm, I'm going to change these. I'm sorry, but these are like, these are ridiculous. This is like, this is a... So incredibly wasteful, but I'm sure they they murdered a lot of things in the process. So that's not like I'm. You could probably find a way to take over the entire world using only those divisions. They're just I'd really not recommend it. But what we're gonna do, yeah, this this is more what I like to work with. It's so like this might not be perfect what I'm gonna do, but it's just I think it's gonna be better for the situation we're doing. So I'm gonna call these like attack tank, and we're not we have medium tanks, not light tanks. So I'm gonna change. What am I going to do here? Medium tank, medium tank. So these are just going to be kind of like light strike units. This is what I like to work with for my motorized. Like, there's a lot you can do. These are combat width of 20. Like, that's not ideal. A lot of, there's a lot you could do, but this is basically acceptable. So let's give them, uh, yeah, sure, motorized recon, whatever. We'll give them some support anti-air artillery, and that is definitely good enough for now. And we'll just name them after, uh, I don't even know, tank brigade, sure. And the attack tank. So these two are now going to be attack tanks, and that's going to save us a ton of stuff here. So this will give us a thousand medium tanks. So just doing that, that's amazing. So we still have two divisions. Like, these are still going to be effective. We'll probably use them for the same purpose. It's just now we're just, they're just better. And we can train, how many more here? Uh, we'll just, we'll train five more. All I care about is that they have tanks, which these, okay, so four more. Yeah, that's fine. It'll be good for now. And I'll get these people training, yeah. That's good for now. And I was trying to cut off some divisions here, but I couldn't do it, so whatever. And we'll stop this attack. That's fine. That's still fine. You can attack here, though, yeah. And low manpower, yeah. Whatever. This is crazy. Look at all these convoys, yeah. Convoy, convoy, five convoys, three convoys, ten convoys, three convoys. Like, every few days, they're just, like, their entire... Like, I don't know, what's... We keep that up for a while, and yeah, it's gonna be... 
it's going to affect Germany everywhere, which I can see the Soviets are at war with Japan as well. So I think no matter what you do, they're probably going to be out of the game. However, we're still, um, we can still be in the game. We can still make a lot of progress. So while, yeah, look at this. It's crazy. This is amazing. And did, uh, yeah, we have these. So I'm going to start training these, uh, planes. Yeah. Now that we're getting out more interceptors and I can see we're short all of our other planes. So we'll need to do something about that. But we've, uh, like, the crisis is solved. We've, like, we... I don't think you're going to be able to capitulate Germany really quickly. You could maybe think of some weird speed run if you, like, naval invaded them. But, I mean, that's... So that's not really my style. Yeah, if you wanted to do, like, a weird speed run, like, capitulate... And we lost 16 convoys. Let's keep them out of here. Um, Uh-oh. Okay, we need to solve this. So, yeah, I, I would have moved everyone up here. And that caused... Here. So this is, like, emergency kind of resolved this time. So, what do I want to do? I see you did all this. Um, I think we need to continue. We need to fix our political situation because a lot of that, yeah, it's going to like solve our economic stuff that's going on. So let's, um, I saw we have two options here. This one is for, it looks like it's to help with fascism, which um, Napoleon, he's not aligned. So we don't, that doesn't, we don't want that. That's still fine. And we can see this would have been brutal. So the reason I got encircled here is because I advanced with all four and I should have left someone guarding this. Which now they're sending in, uh, yeah, they sent in some help, so it's going to be even more difficult. Attention. However, it's, the reason why I don't care, it's, it's, it's Italy, so I mean, it's like, what's, what's, what are they going to do? Like, and also, I don't think, I think they would have shifted a bunch of people over this way, so, uh-oh. Well, we'll see. Good luck, Britain. And yeah, so I don't like, I'm not sure what's going on here, but they can't really hold their own lines. Also, maybe because I'm sinking every single Italian convoy that I see, like this is insane right now. Five convoys, convoy, convoy, six convoys. <laughs> like this, this is crazy. I've never, this is insane. Like, I don't know. I think just the entire game, you weren't doing anything with your Navy. They were just all sitting like all together. You had them on strike force. So they were on, like they were looking for U-boats to engage with and fight, but like there weren't, it just... The Germans didn't care. I don't know. Like, we don't need to... We don't really care. It's less about... We don't need to destroy their U-boats because they're just going to replace them constantly. It's more like we need to make sure that they aren't able to get any supplies in. So, it's like we're doing that now. And Britain, how you doing here? Not so great, but whatever. And the cancel the lend lease. That's fine. So, yeah, we've connected our lines. That's awesome. So let's see if we can attack them in two spots here. And let's not... So this is what I did wrong. I need to keep one person here. So I'm going to say don't attack. Just stand there. And then that'll save our own lines. And all these... All these planes here. Honestly, I'm just going to... Let's just put them in the garbage. Yeah, well, it's not... It's just moving them to the, to the reserves. Because I don't really... Can't really do anything yet. And we're going to need to build up our air forces. Like, we kind of neglected that. And I now have... I've broken even for infantry equipment. Okay, that's nice. I'll probably need to... Are we building any anti-air? Don't... Yep, we're building one. This is fine. So I'm going to, yeah, we're going to want maybe like 10,000 guns-ish in the stockpile before we go on the attack. Oh, this is fine. And this, I really like what's going on in Italy. So I think maybe when I get, um, these folks are doing there, and we're going to be out of fuel in 26 days. However, I have, yep, French East Indies. So let's just, let's trade for some oil there, yeah. And continue to sink every convoy with 10 Japanese convoys. So this is, I can't even keep track, like, I'm just canceling all these, but like, this, I don't even, I don't even, let's, uh, lost ships, 220, this is insane, they're losing all their convoys, wow, that's so sad, so let's see how many, like, it would be reflected, yeah, so like, they're, oh, that was, um, we saw that before, okay, so it's not even that, we would have added some, but yeah, I think these are like a lot of supplies and stuff, we can see this. Romania is increasing like 100,000. So a lot of these would be troops that they're moving around. Pretty crazy. And we're failing here. Whatever. And it's just this one little camel division. Yeah, that's fine. See, so yeah, I think uh, this will probably be like a... I don't know. Make a couple more videos on this. Because I do... Like, we're definitely in a... You could definitely conquer the world with what you got going on here. Like, we're in a good position. Um... I think, yeah, you're not at war with America or anything. We're sinking. This is great. If we just keep this up for a few months, like, even... It looks like Germany's getting pushed back a bit, maybe, because they're losing, like, all their supplies and stuff. However, Russia's still not, like... It's dealing with Japan. That's going to be a problem for them as well, so it's not... 
not doing so great, but this is, yeah, this is crazy. Look at all, so basically just set your navy to convoy raiding and you'll win the game is pretty much, like the video could have been like two minutes of just like, yes, yeah, just raid the convoys and you win. But even at that, like you can see for what I'm doing, I stopped your attacks here. I didn't think they were working. Like you could, you could keep pushing in here. It would just cause, it would be like really heavy casualties. I can see this seems to be promising, although not ideal. The, although, okay, yeah, we're, we're not going to encircle them how I want to, but it's still, I'll just stop it here and figure out what to do. But, uh, yeah, so I'll wrap up the video here. Next time, I think I'm going to get, uh, we'll get these tanks on the ground. We'll start training those. Um, I think we can, we're in a position to kind of keep advancing into Italy. So maybe I can bring some of these attack divisions down or maybe create some new ones. Because we can start recruiting some people soon. We got some uh, folks to work with there. Getting the gun situation, artillery sorted out. So that's all wonderful. Um, yeah, if you enjoy the content, like and subscribe. And if anyone, if uh, anyone watching you wants me to take a look at your save file, just, um... I won't roast you too hard. I know the game doesn't make any sense, so I'll just try to make it make more sense for you. But um, yeah, PyotrPlays123 at gmail.com. If you want to know the exact, yeah, just click on the About section of my channel page, and yeah, it should be there somewhere. So thank you so much for watching, and I'm just going to watch these convoys just keep appearing here, because this is, this is glorious. We've sank so many. But um, if you want to watch me sink some more, tune in next episode.